Siempre le damos la más cordial bienvenida. Hoy celebramos con gran impresión la libre hogar de vida, nuestro bellísimo tiempo aniversario. Um, most of Europe is a uh, sales company. Okay. We have an engineering center here and, and Curtis Puerto Rico making one of the new products for the uh, wheelchair industry. For high-end uh, rehab and critical care wheelchairs will be made here in the Puerto Rico plants. These are very complicated, sophisticated products and they handle huge power. This this handles up to 800 amps. Oh my God. Antes de continuar, que eh, deseamos reconocer la presencia de nuestro honorable gobernador, Luis Guillermo Fortuño Burset, nuestro presidente Stuart Mowell, el señor Rey Marrero en representación de nuestro alcalde de Carolina, invitados y todos nuestros empleados. Porque las máquinas son iguales en todos lados, pero es la gente que es la gran diferencia, de verdad que sí. We established Curtis Instruments Puerto Rico Inc. on December 1st, 1986, and attained our first incentive grant with a promise to employ 30 employees in early 1987. Five years later, we purchased this building and expanded our production, adding our motor speed control product line. Today, our advanced motor control systems are shipped from Carolina to original equipment manufacturers of golf, material handling, industrial, and light on road vehicles around the world. President Obama recognized our role in this important global activity, stressing why this was good for America when he was in India in 2010. Thanks to the continued support of the government of Puerto Rico and the city of Carolina, the able leadership of our founding general manager, Miguel Tirado, and the continuing leadership of Alberto Alvarado, an amazing group of departmental leaders and a well-trained and loyal workforce. Curtis Instruments Puerto Rico Inc. employs more than 250 employees and is the most advanced of our global manufacturing facilities. In October of 2011, we discontinued the manufacture of our original product line, the Kilometer, to make way for more advanced equipment and new product lines in this plant. I'd ask the, that Governor Luis Fortunio approach the podium. I have something to give you, sir. I would like to present a commemorative plaque to Governor Luis Fortunio and to say thank you for the support we have received in making the company successful here in Puerto Rico. Gracias. I would like to thank you, uh, Mr. Marwell and, and the whole team for uh, actually allowing me to participate in such a momentous occasion, not just in the life of Curtis Instruments, but in the life of so many people that make Curtis so special. This is a special occasion because of what it means so many families, but what it means to Puerto Rico as well. Manufacturing is key in our economic development and actually allows us to have good paying jobs that sustain our economy. And that's why, of course, our secretary was going to be here, but I said, no, I want to make sure I'll be there. I already had my press event earlier today. I wanted to make this a special occasion just to share with you all because of the importance that this has. Uh, for this company and for the economic development of Puerto Rico. Yo quisiera ir a los 10 puntos o principios corporativos de la empresa. Y el primero es el más importante. 
que es que ustedes son el recurso principal de esta empresa. Ustedes son los que hacen la diferencia. Y por eso era que yo quería venir aquí y compartir con ustedes. Pero vuelvo y repito, sin ustedes esto sería imposible. Los felicito a cada uno de ustedes por su trabajo, por su tesón y por la calidad, no solamente del producto, sino la calidad humana que demuestran, porque al visitar la planta me doy cuenta de que esto no es una empresa, esto es una familia. Muchas gracias, que Dios los bendiga. Antes de pasar al corte simbólico del bizcocho, una sorpresa, la cual nuestro gerente general no esperaba. Queremos realizar unos reconocimientos a cuatro empleados que han estado con nosotros 25 años. Nuestro gerente general, Alberto Alvarado. Nuestro segundo empleado, Mercedes Martel, asistente del señor Alvarado. Nuestra tercera empleada, supervisora con nosotros, la señora Magda Robles. Y nuestra última empleada, pero no menos importante, Maribel Correa.